To begin, log into the Foglight console and in navigation, click Databases. The database dashboard includes these sections. Database cartridge type tiles. Each tile represents a database type, including SQL Server, SQL Server BI, Azure SQL, Oracle, SAP ASC, DB2, MongoDB, Cassandra, or all instances, and displays the number of instances for each database type, along with a breakdown according to the instance health state severity, normal, warning, critical, and fatal. When selecting a tile, all of the ages of that type will be displayed. Status section includes the following components. Status summary, a color-coded bar which provides a visual representation of the summarized health condition of all instances listed in the database group table. The status summary bar provides a graphic representation of the monitored environment's current stake, broken down to a number of instances and their current health state, fatal, critical, warning, normal, or unknown. When the database group all is selected, this section displays all of the currently monitored instances for each database type divided by their health state. When a user-defined database group is selected, this section displays data only about the agents included within the selected group. The Monitor button. Use this button to add instances to be monitored. The Configure Alarms button takes you directly to the Administration Alarms page. The Settings button. Use this button to do one of the following. Enter the administration settings panel for one or more databases of agents of the same type. Access the user management settings, allowing you to restrict which instances specific users are allowed to view. This makes it easier for a user to find information only about the instances they are interested in. This is detailed in another video. Access a page to manage SQL PI repositories configured for the environment. Manage alarm on agent blackouts to prevent database agents from collecting or alarms from firing, for example during a maintenance period. And options to stop agents from monitoring, start monitoring, or remove an agent from monitoring. The Show Quick View button provides the ability to open a quick view of the instance at the bottom of the screen. The Select Databases button provides a direct link to several drill downs and panels, thereby saving the need to navigate to these locations through the overview drill down. For some instance types, such as SQL Server or Oracle, when the display's filters show only that type, the databases table is renamed and additional tabs are shown. Because the databases dashboard displays by default all of the currently monitored databases, it is advisable to customize the dashboard's view to display only the relevant instances and then preview such instances to decide which to monitor. To select an instance to monitor, display only the instances relevant for your needs. Use one of the following methods. Filter by database type. If multiple database types are being monitored, click the database type tile that represents the requested type. Filter by severity. Use the status indicators to display only instances of a specific database type that share a specific health state severity. Create user-defined groups. Use the database areas to create groups that contain only the databases that need to be monitored for a specific need. This is detailed in another video. Assign instances to specific users. When accessing a database dashboard, non-administrative users will view only instances that have been assigned to them. Click the requested instance to view a cue card with a preview of the instance's most significant performance indicators. Click Overview on the home page to view the specific details for a specified agent. The table's heat map offers a view of the overview of the database agents with the most alarms color-coded by the high severity level. The search field helps the user to narrow down the list to a subset of agents. The table's customizer button and into context action items are common to all database screens. This is also detailed in another video about common elements in the Foglight UI.